This is the second video on our series on capacitors. And in this video, we're going to take measurements of the farad values of these three capacitors. And I'm going to use the, the fluke on one, and then I'll use the, the Klein meter on all three just to see how it works. And the only reason I want to use both is to show that there is a little difference on the way they set up in order to get the measurement values. And the one thing I want to stress is all of the capacitors have been safely discharged and so I won't be wearing any PPE or worrying about that for any of these measurements because I've already taken care of that. Before we dive into our lab on measuring capacitors, I wanted to read a little bit about how capacitance measure mode works on a digital multimeter. So let me just read this to you. It says, a DMM does not typically charge a capacitor to directly measure its capacitance. Instead, it uses a different method called the voltage time method, or sometimes called the voltage ramp method. Here's a brief explanation of how it works. The DMM generates a small known voltage or current signal and applies it to the capacitor. It measures the voltage across the capacitor as it charges or discharges. The DMM records the time it takes for the voltage across the capacitor to reach a certain threshold or stabilize. Using this time and the known values of the voltage or current signal, the DMM calculates capacitance value using the formula C, which is for capacitance, is equal to I times time divided by voltage, where C is the capacitance, I is the current, T is the time, and V is the voltage. This method does not involve, does not involve fully charging the capacitor or measuring the actual farad value directly. It relies on the relationship between the applied voltage or current and the time taken to reach a specific voltage level and the capacitance value. And when we do measure these capacitors, you will see sometimes it takes a little bit of time for the, the DMM to charge the capacitor and then finally settle on a measurement. For our first capacitance measurement, we're going to use the fluke meter just so we can see how that sets up. And this is a 10 microfarad capacitor according to the nameplate. And just for fun, I will tell you it's also rated for 370 volts AC. Uh, to set up this fluke meter for capacitance measurement, you switch, switch the selector down here and it shows here it has both capacitor and it has diode check mode on it. And to access capacitor measurements, you have to hit the select button. And when I do, you, you can see it's showing uh, F there for farads. And to take a measurement, it's pretty simple. You just touch the two tabs together. But the thing you need to understand is these are pretty slow in responding because it's, there's a lot going on. So you have to hold it down for a minute and watch. And you can see it's showing that we have a value of 10.12 microfarads. I don't know how well you can see that, but it shows the little micro farad symbol on there. So that's 10.12 and it's rated for 10. So that's pretty darned accurate. And now I'll go away and we'll set up with Klein and we'll do some more measurements. I now have the Klein set up and we'll do a capacitance measurement on the same capacitor we did previously. And we'll also do two other capacitors of different value on this board. And I didn't mention previously, you'll need to notice that we do have the red lead in the volt ohm port and then we have the common connected to the common as we normally do. I wanted to mention that also. And I will show you how the client turns on and goes in capacitor mode. So you go up here and it has a mode strictly for capacitors and you can see it showing F so we're ready to read capacitors. And I will mention again, it's fairly slow sometimes for you to get a measurement because you're really essentially charging the capacitor and then by doing so, it determines the value of the capacitor. And the Klein you'll see on one of these measurements it actually takes a minute to charge the capacitor. So you have to be a little patient with this when you're doing this. So we'll get ready and we'll take a measurement here. Okay, we have a measurement of 10.27 microfarads. It's showing the little microfarad symbol. So that's pretty close to what the Klein was showing. Now we'll remove that. And let's take a measurement of the cap first capacitor on the board here and see what we get for a value. And you can see it's charging it and then it will determine the value of the capacitance once it does that in farads. Okay, and it's showing nine, uh, 968 microfarads. And then the next one, 
This is showing 1.014 microfarads. It really is that simple to, to take a measurement of the farad value. Thank you for watching us. Be sure and like us and hit the subscribe button. We'll be dropping new videos weekly, usually on Sunday nights. And finally, visit us at takingmeasure.net. We have a lot of content there and also a book available.